Hey, what's going on, crew? Welcome, welcome back in to your weekend update. Two weeks in a row. We're hitting a trend, I guess. At least I hope so. Today, we got some stuff to talk about, of course. Well, we've got the new mods to talk about this week as well. We need to talk about where the heck the DLC is for Farming Simulator 22. We haven't heard anything about this yet. I think maybe we should probably talk about it. You have to let me know what you guys think as well. Let's jump into this thing, pitter-patter. And yeah, I know it, it still says patter pitter back there somehow. You can blame the clutchlings for that one. What can I say? Now, before we dive into this, of course, welcome in. If you're new around here, make sure you guys hit that subscription button down at the bottom so you don't miss anything out. Farming Simulator 22 related. Of course, we're going to be talking about the DLCs today. we got new mods coming up. And of course, well, if you want to hang out and check out some of our live streams and Let's Plays, well, you guys know we're regulars for that stuff as well. Now, before we dive into the new stuff, as far as our DLC talk we're going to be talking about today, as well as the new mods, we need to figure out something else. Um, if you guys missed last week's video, we had a little bit of interesting conversation about should you ever pay for mods? Should you pay for mods? Do you think that's okay? What are you guys' thoughts on paying for mods? Check out well, the video right here. Uh, go check on the link in the card and then go watch that video. If you missed it last week, uh, make sure you drop a comment and vote in that poll. We're gonna be talking more about that in a future video. So I wanna make sure everyone has a chance to uh, voice their opinions on that stuff. Go make sure you drop a comment for me and vote in that poll in that video. Now with that out of the way, let's talk about well, what's new in Farming Simulator 22 because we've got a couple new mods that have been released this past little bit. Some kind of cool stuff. I mean, we've got stuff from JHHG and Sid Modding. We've got from JHHG, the John Deere 1775 NT, the 2022 version of that planter. Fantastic looking planter. Of course, from Sid Modding, we've got a couple mods this past week. We've got the John Deere 8RT, 8RX pack, well, as well as the 8R, of course. Also included with that, of course, we've got the integrated exact rate 8RX tanks. Also from Omatana, we have the trailer farm buildings pack as well as the seasonal deco pack, which actually changes depending on what season you're in. It's a deco pack that you can place down and changes. Very cool. This is for all platforms as well. From Alien Gym, the placeables pack of farmhouses. This has what, five different little placeables that you can place for your home, your house, from a doormat, for, to a tent, to all the way up to a log cabin. There's a couple different ones in that. From Vanquish, we have the Seed Production, which is a placeable building that will allow you to take any of your, your grains and transform them into seeds. It kind of works with your production chains. Anyways, makes you seeds from, well, various grains. I kind of like that. More Honey Pallets Place Options by Mr. Hector, which just simply allows you to place a whole bunch more Honey Pallets instead of just the one or two you might get with the base game stuff. And then for PC and Mac only, guys, we have the Buy Productions Input which will basically allow you to buy any of the different productions out there rather than having to make them all. And then lastly, by GTX, the supply and transport contracts, which is a whole new type of contract versus the standard ones where you do field work. This one here is just simply transporting goods around and using that for contracts instead, which actually pays fairly well. I'm not going to lie. There's some pretty good paydays in here. Of course, those last two guys, those are PC Mac only mods. All the mods I just mentioned, however, are in the mod hub. So available for everyone if you own the mod hub. Just make sure you those last two are scripts and they're PC and Mac only. You guys understand. So now let's move off of the mod hub onto some of the third party sites. Over on the mod network, we've got a couple of new mods by Farmstrong Modding. We've got the Shouse. The Shouse? <laughs> That's awesome. The Shed House. I love this. Fully detailed working house. Uh, separate light triggers. TVs have triggers. Lifts in the garage. This is cool. Also, along with the shows, he's got the 100 by 200 shed, which kind of matches. Both actually have the changeable exterior colors, kind of like what we see with a lot of the base game stuff as well. This is awesome. And of course, not to be done there, he also has the 50 by 100. So there's three, two different garages plus the shows. You guys, there's a lot there. Also, if you guys are looking for a new truck, I want something a little bit older this week. Let's go with the 84 Ford F250 farm truck. This one's by JMF Modding. Very cool, old looking Ford pickup truck. Love this thing, looks like a good off-roader. FS Miners released a Komatsu JD655 grader. It works with the Terra Farming mod. So if you want a grader now to push some dirt around, well, you can do that and farm some. I can't wait to give this one more of a try. You might see some videos on this at some point soon. We've got another couple of placeables for you. We've got the Area 21 corn drying silo system by River Bottom Custom Farming. We've showed this one off before as well as the MW Logistics Warehouse. This one looks pretty interesting. You can actually store some stuff in. You've got room for forklifts inside, moving your pallets, restoring your goods. Very cool looking building, actually. And then to top it all off, we got two new maps released this past week. 
Now, to be perfectly honest, guys, I haven't had a chance to dive into these maps yet. You're going to have to let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this. We've got Frankenmuth, Frankenmuth, Michigan, I believe. And lastly, South Louisiana. I, I need to try both of these. They both look like pretty good maps. Uh, South Louisiana, some of the stuff I've seen on that one. Really interested in trying this. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have tried these maps, what you guys think of them. Looks like some pretty good PC maps for sure. So we've talked about everything that's currently new in Farming Simulator 22. Let's move into what we are still waiting on, namely DLCs. I think you guys have all seen this graphic. We've all looked at this. This is the first year or year one seasons pass for Farming Simulator 22 and what we can expect or what we were told to expect. Now, we haven't heard of any of this yet. We don't know what exactly is coming out. Uh, it's funny that we go through the timelines. Pack one was supposed to be released winter 21, 22. So we're already past winter 21. We're already into 22. In fact, we're quickly approaching spring of 22 and we still have no information on any of this yet. Kind of worrisome, isn't it? Just a little bit. Okay, so I'm not really all that concerned. I'm, I'm sure giants are on top of this, but you know what? I was still hoping to hear something by now. So hopefully in the next week or two, maybe three, we'll have something definitive. And I'm hoping that shortly after we hear about it will be released. I believe it's usually a one to two weeks time frame, typically for most DLCs for them, once they announce it to release time. So it's not like it's a huge window, like where we announce a game essentially, right? So we don't really know exactly when this is coming out. And trust me, I, I don't have any extra information that you guys wouldn't already have. So I don't know, I, nothing I can say right now. So don't take anything that I'm saying here worth more than a grain of salt. However, new vehicles for your farm is what pack one is called. What do you guys think? What is this going to be? We should probably talk about this a little bit. I mean, there's a lot of different options. I originally thought this was going to be a case pack just simply because we didn't have a lot of case equipment that were base game. Well, we've kind of made up with that in mods and they've all been released as mod packs almost already. So I'm at a bit of a loss here. I really hope it's not a star pack. So my question of the week for you guys is what do you think this pack will include. Will it be a brand? Will it be a type of vehicle or a type of a specific type of farming apparatus or vehicle? Or will it just be a mix mash of everything? Let me know down in the comments. Let me know in the poll as well down in the description what you guys think it will be. Also, if you're down in the comments, let me know what you would like to see. What's one thing you'd like to have? I'm kind of curious. I know one thing that I've thought about potentially being maybe like a big bud pack could be something we could see which I'd be a little bit disappointed by. I'm not going to I'm not going to lie. I'd rather see it be something we haven't seen already. But you know what? The big buds are something we still need for sure. Of course, don't forget if you haven't already purchased your your one year pass, you can get that down in the description. We'll leave a link there. The affiliate links down below. So if you want to buy the whole pack, you can do so right now and make sure you get this one year pass for all your Farming Simulator 22 DLCs. So that's all we have for you this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, of course. Slap the like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And you know what? Make sure you guys, if you missed last week's show, well, click up at the card right up the top there. Go check that out where we talked a little bit more about and for mods, of course. I know, a bit of a touchy subject. Go check it out. Anyways, go, folks, have a great day and I will catch you next time. This is Clutch. Over and out.